What's really, I think, important to understand about the first anti-vaccination movement, the one that erupted in Britain in the 1850s, is that it was made up with a lot of different groups of people. This is very much an American political and legal tradition to allow governments under their police powers to protect the public health. listening to Epidemic, the podcast about the science, public health, and social impacts of the coronavirus pandemic. I'm your host, Dr. Celine Gounder. Nadia Durbach is a professor of history at the University of Utah. Nadia loves archives. Oh, the archive is a wonderful place. A lot of the things Nadia is interested in are documents from the Victorian era. They're kept in these plain, unassuming boxes. It could be very small. It could be huge. Some of the documents I was recently working with came in boxes that were almost as big as I was. And there were 300 of them. And the archivist was not that happy to pass over 300 of these boxes over the course of weeks and weeks. It may sound dry to some, but for Nadia, it's like a treasure hunt. You know, it's like opening a present. You open the box up and you see what's in there. And so what I love is the serendipity of it. You go through and you look at the thing you wanted, but sometimes beside it in the box that you're allowed access to is something you didn't know existed. So one day when Nadia was a graduate student, she was in an archive looking for something that could become her dissertation topic. 